What up, guys? Grimmage up here with another raid, Shadow Legends, free to play, no fear episode. Today we got our Dark Elaine, so we have a nice new champion to play with if we need it. Definitely some uh, Ice Golem and some uh, Arena Utility if we want to build her out to be one heck of a nuker. And she pairs well with Miscreated Monster in uh, Ice Golem just because she needs that shield. Because uh, you build her out to be a true nuker, she's going to get blown up. That's just the way that goes. Popping some shards here real quick. Still got that 2x going, but it doesn't affect us. Not at all. So, man, these are amazing packs. I wish you could get the Warrior Circle if you also still spent, but I understand why they're offering them. They're enticing you to spend more. All right, so what do we got going event-wise? I felt like wasting a good 30 seconds waiting for everything to load, you know? Champion training event. That's it. That's all we got. That's not great. All right, well, let's go do some arena. Because uh, that's what I do. I'm not doing the triple arena. Don't care. Not worth my time. All right, so we've been picking at that one. Let's go to a new one here. All right. All right. See you. I see you there. Do 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 da. Had a good day today. Good workout. Good start to the day. Girlfriend's cat was pretty nice to me today, so uh, it's always a good start. You know it's a great cat when uh, you always claim that it's yours and uh, your significant other always claims that it's uh, theirs. Reverse that. I'm an idiot. Uh, you claim it's theirs, they claim it's yours. No one wants to take ownership. So that's that's a solid win for both of us. We just don't need that. You don't need a little loving hand there, Miss Created. You just want to smash somebody. She's going to screw something up. Okay, didn't take off the provoke, so that's cool. <clears throat> All right, beat you up a little bit. And put that shield back. And this is pretty much going to be donezo for them. That shield down, yeah. Really stomp that into effect, your toast. I know I could have used the speed up there, but just didn't need it. Didn't need that speed up. Go in there and just pound away anyways. I guess they put him in their arena team for the block revive, maybe? I mean, he is a pretty good hitter. He can smash, but you just don't see him in arena that much. That or it's a bot team. This one I'm not too afraid of just because she is super squishy. Um, that being said, if they're faster than us, they're going <laughs> to one-shot us pretty good. Because she can hit super hard, which is kind of the norm. You know, if they're squishy, usually they can hit hard if they're an attack champ. There's that old deflection thing, my jigger. They should hit pretty good. And this might do one or two in. Yep. But she's still going. With the decreased attack, though, I'm just not worried. Yeah. Probably not built out that well anyways. Yeah, now we can auto for the win here. Ah, I should have done that. You should... Mm. Eh, it doesn't matter. Read the room, miscreated. Read the room, bro. All right. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. I mean, you don't know. They have Shaman as their lead, so it's either a bot team or someone who's just slapping champs in there. If there are even bot teams. I don't think there are. The truth of the matter is, instead of doing bot teams, it might save them more time to activate older, weaker accounts. You know, people have been inactive, so they took them out of the arena. Just turn them back on if they know their, their defenses are not that great. And then just reshuffle what arena they're in. They just constantly throw them up two arenas too high for what they should be in, or three arenas too high for what they should be in, so it kind of trickles down. Yeah, what do I know? I just work here, man. Just raid, raiding it up. How's everyone doing on their fusion? It's Monday. Hopefully people uh, have started getting the fusion champion by then. 
now I have it on my main account. So that's good. Hopefully you got some of the champions. There are some excellent champions out there. It's one of those ones, if you get some of the epics, ah, man, it's almost as good. It's almost as good because it's... <sighs> Ooh, we did it. That's a big one. Um, yeah, the epics are super solid. Super solid. All right, let's go ahead. Can we get this yet? Really? 112? Oh, that's not great. It's not great. And Norbert, I want you to know I'm still working on this green screen. I shelving unit I can't just saw into, unfortunately. I thought I could. And structural issues. Whoops. So I might have to just move my office, rearrange everything. So I can put it on the longer wall. The problem is the longer wall has no power to it. So it's a bunch of extension cords will be necessary. Yeah. Seems like I struggle with the most simplest of tasks. And yes, I do. That's all right, though. The hard stuff comes pretty easy, right? Isn't that how that works? <laughs> Probably not. No, nobody knows. Pretty low stress level, I guess. I sweat the small stuff, but not the big stuff, so... I think my stress is pretty good for that. Alright, so we got some, a lot of raid stuff coming on. All these new updates, which is great. The fusion, which is... Okay, I mean, the champion training stuff. We have a gripe column now in our Discord. And, man, it does kind of get too much of a grind. And I think it's funny that the, the reward for... A champion training event is a champion that you need to train for the event. I don't like that. I'd be super stoked if they made it like really hard to get those epic champions. Like really, you know, put them up like another. We're gonna get butt kicked here. Another two thousand points in the champion trainer. Hell, put them up another four thousand points. I don't care. But when you got them. They were either fully ascended, or they're fully leveled, or it's like more than just a flat champ. Like that would be pretty cool. I'd be, a, I'd be stoked about that. I'd be down, down for that one. All right, let's take a look at our champions. I did some grinding of some masteries earlier. All right, looks like she's ready for some more. All right, what do we want here? No, uh, I mean, that's eventually where we'll go. But let's get her something better, like. Uh, Ruthless Ambush isn't bad, but I want this. Because she's going to get beat up. She is super squishy. Yeah, we're going that way. It's less than 40%. Do we want her to be a finisher? Ruthless Ambush? Or do we want something over here? Don't need the turn meter stuff in case I want a clan boss her. Yeah, turn meter, turn meter. So we'll go with this one. You know what? Because I'm going to use her in some dungeons, I'm going to take the Ruthless Ambush. <sighs> Decisions, man. That's tough. It's tough. I don't like it. I love it. Well, in honor of our 2x event, I'm going to buy some gems that have, or some shards that have nothing to do with the event. I'm lacking. Whoops. <laughs> well played, Flarim. All right, we got three. Let's pop them. Let's do it. I'm, there's a legendary in there. There has to be, right? I mean, it's right here. Boom. Legendary. Gold. Uh, I have purple. We'll take it. She's not great. She can hit, but she's not great. I mean, she's not bad. I can't, uh. Big sticker. She hits harder. All right, here we go. She's food. Food is okay. This guy's definitely food. The master butcher. That's funny, though. The butcher becomes the food. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that poll. I know a lot of people save their gems to buy masteries and all that kind of stuff, but... <sighs> eh. Eh, who cares, you know? Right, let's go to our tavern and see what we can do. Who do we have that we can upgrade you into? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Mm. Nah, I want to try and get some level 30 guys up. Get some more people up into the atmosphere. 
atmosphere. All right, I'm going to do some of these ranking ups. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We've uh, thrown some champs in there, done some fun stuff. Now we can go ahead and make some level fives. No hesitation, no worries, no forethought, just food. Yeah, they're gone. Sacrifice. Oh, but wait, they're for a fusion. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. All right, so now's the big decision. Ooh, ah, ooh, I'm agonizing. Who should I? Oh, my gosh. Ooh, man, maybe if I did this champion or I could do that champ. I don't know. Which one should I? Oh, wait, no. Done. Boom. Yeah, now we have a huge, huge damage dealer. Because that's, that's what we want. That's what I want. I have the, I have miscreated, so I can keep pretty much everyone alive. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go War Master. I'm just going to go War Master. It's the guaranteed hit. Not the guaranteed, but, you know, I know Elf Smash are great, especially for max HP champs. Yada, yada, yada. You're right. It's a good call. Good one to put on them. I like War Master. I like that little damage pop. All right. So there we go. We have absolutely no potions to throw in Royal Guard there. Um, <laughs> we have almost no champions left. Um, we have a vault. I don't think we've ever actually used it for anything, though. But yeah, now we're ready to rock and roll. We got a pretty bad team. I think the next one I want to go up here is uh, Fane. Get her up to level 60, because she is just going to wreck house once we get her all the way up there. All right. Anyways, let's get rid of that. Upgrade skills. What do we have? I think we have, yeah, legendary. We'll save that for a CBC, which is stupid, but they're adding more and more rewards to it, which is kind of nice. Um, it's just not the right rewards they're adding. The personal stuff, that's great, but you have to win. So it's going to basically give you a bunch of personal rewards, so now you're more attached to your uh, clan winning because you get all these personal rewards, so you're going to spend more money, which is the idea. Which I get it. It's a business, yada, yada, yada. Um, it just kind of hurts, you know? Just give the personal stuff so they can collect half of it or something if they don't win or something like that, you know? Something, because they put the effort in, they spent the money, give them some kind of reward. But that's just me. All right, do we have our auto battles? Because we have quite a bit of energy. We don't have our auto battles, so... Oh well. Oh well. Next time. Next time. We'll have to run in on uh, auto clicker or something like that. Who knows? Anyways, let's go ahead and rock some uh, Doom Towers. Actually, enjoying it on this account since it's not like the auto win or anything like that. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep running this team a little bit. Let's just see how they do on this one. I'll run this one level and then we'll try and get to the secret room on auto, and I'll bring you back in and uh, we'll take a look at it there. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, still whomping on them for the most part. Yeah, that's auto. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell. Our feeders and good night, I think is how that goes. That's a weird one. I shouldn't have done it that way. I didn't even think about that. Provoking Allure. She's gonna throw her A1, and her A1 is her actually the move she wants to use if you have her. Alright, you oh you were gonna die anyways. Yep, there's that health swap. One of the most annoying moves out there, the health swap. I mean, I get it. Should have focused on it a little bit better. But yeah, we're going to win this no problem. Our team's good enough. We got 60s, so... I mean, with Cold Heart and Royal Guard, we now have four 60s champs. So, starting to play this like a real account. <laughs> Although we have eaten pretty much every champion we own. But you just can't care, man. Like, I know I'm not going as fast as other people, but at the same time, I'm not playing as hard as other people are on their free-to-plays. For just pure enjoyment, I would tell you right now, hands down, No Fear is definitely super high up there for just pure enjoyment. You get to pop shards whenever you want. You know, you just eat champions recklessly. Just... It's a joy-filled game, and that's the only way I'd recommend this. Is if you're just looking to just like maximize that dopamine fill, that's what No Fear is going to do for you. 
All right, so I'm going to run a couple auto battles here so you guys don't have to watch those. And then if we get to the secret room, we'll go ahead and push that on film. So be right back. All right, we blew past it. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's take a look at this secret room. Ooh, this could be a doozy for us. We don't have very good uh, force champions. I know we're missing some. Let's take a look at our gear requirements here. Yeah, chest piece is kind of important. Ooh, what about this guy? Defense? Sure. Why not? Losing that on accuracy, which isn't going to make her that great. Put that on there for some crit damage, because why not? That's one done. She's still got all our gear. Do we have a ring? We don't. All right. This guy's going to have to be our main once we need speed boots. Accuracy and crit rate, I like that. Throw that on there, gets his crit rate up. He's got the sleeper hold, so good to go there. He's one of our better ones. He's got zero gear on him. Who else do we have that's force? Nobody. Ugh. Look at the skills here. Poison. Extra 50% of critical hit. Deals damage from all poisons, so blows up the poisons. All right, so nothing fantastic on this champion. Let's just throw some gear on there. All right, just throwing gear on. Let's go filter, speed, crit rate. Sure. That's not what I wanted, but it worked out. I wanted those as substats, you silly goose. All right, there we are. What's the defense, resistance, it's trash. A helmet, okay. I'm already screwing this one up. Let's just take this stuff off and put him in lifesteal. We'll have to pay for our mistake of just randomly throwing them in there, but. Crit damage. There's some crit rate on that one. Might as well. Defense. Crit rate. Equip. Alright, so we just need something. Do speed boots? Lose a little bit of speed there. I don't want to do that. We have a really good weapon, I know that. Crit rate as well. Let's just do that one. All right. Yeah, good. Now we could just turn one of these into a tank, but I know I'm going to eventually want to use him. Filter. Let's go with accuracy. All right. So he's got the crit rate piece there. Again, guys, I'm just slapping stuff on. Uh, I'm not overly worried about anything in particular. But there are ways to kind of maximize stuff here. So I'm just going to put him in one of these sets. Yeah, it's not going to help me out that much. Neither one of those are accuracy, right? No, no. So I'm really just using him as a shield maker. Maybe I can get some boots from that crit right there. Some stuff I should sell. Nope, no boots. That's all right. Speed. So what we'll do is we'll do this, and then since I screwed up again, because I like to do it, taking advantage of that silver, although it may have expired. Attack. There's some speed on there with HP. Let's just put that on there, and we'll go ahead and upgrade this to eight just to get it up there, and then I'll see you and we'll go and run it. All right. It's not looking good, but uh, what the heck. What the heck? We have some good champs in here. But really, we're looking for... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Blind luck, I think, would be the best way to put that.
<laughs> yeah, I figured that one. Yep, I'm thinking this is going to be one of those secret rooms we're going to have to come back and revisit. Given I didn't do the best job in the world slapping on stuff, these champions. Yeah, we're toast. Alrighty. And on that note, we're ending the video. Watch me as I get my butt kicked. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me do what I do. Um, you have yourself a wonderful day and the rest of your week. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on Tuesday with a new vid. Alright, I'm out.